Welcome back guys. Tonight I am going to, um, it's a goth night kind of, it's like, it's at a bar so it's not like a club night. It's sort of like a bar slash club night because there is, there are DJs but there are also like movies playing and people just sitting around talking and the lights are dim, but there are lights on. So it's like sort of a hybrid, kind of just like chill out goth night. The theme for tonight is Southern Gothic. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with my makeup. I'm not particularly inspired by that makeup wise. But I think for my outfit, I'm gonna wear maybe like a corset and a big poofy skirt because that feels Southern to me. And my hair is big, my hair is up. Um, I have a tutorial on this hair. I will link it in the box down below. Yeah, let's go on and get into it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So let's just do it. I'm going to take nude and warm taupe and mix those together from the, I think this is the Maya Mia palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I take these two colors and then just like run them through my crease for a transition shade. So yeah, the goth scene here is like, it's not that it's non-existent, it's just that it's um, sort of few and far between, I guess. And there are more things I feel like that are starting to happen recent, like in the last few months or last couple of months, but still it's just not like it was Back, back in the day when I first started getting into it. But I don't think, I don't know if it'll ever get back to that point. We mostly don't have like really cool venues, you know, like in Los Angeles, they all have like really great different clubs to go to and huge spaces and all that. And here, like the spaces that would be like aesthetically pleasing for a club night, just would not have us. <laughs> they would they would probably not have us. Of course, I'm saying that and being like a Debbie Downer and like I shouldn't say that before, you know, if I haven't asked these people to host a night there, but um, I'm pretty sure they would be like, eh, yeah, no, not happening. They're just, I think there just maybe aren't enough people to come out to warrant like the, like, bigger club spaces. But I don't know, because I'm not a promoter and I have no idea what goes on. But the main places around here to go to for goth events are like um, kind of divey bars, which is, you know, totally fine. I'm very at home in a dive bar, but it's just not the easiest to like create an atmosphere in, you know? What do I to do? I think I'm gonna use my Melt Gunmetal stack because I haven't been using this lately. So this is Assimilate and this is Gunmetal. And then this is Hearthstone White, which I will probably use as well. So I'm gonna take Assimilate. And these are really pigmented, so I'm just uh, tapping off most of it. I'm gonna build it up really gradually because these are not a joke kind of eyeshadows. And then on a smaller brush, I'm also going to take that underneath. Just gonna blend that out. So I've basically done the thing that I said I wasn't gonna do, which is doing this eye and then that eye, but whatever. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown from the Maya Mia palette, which is really very dark, dark brown, almost black brown. And I'm going to put it in the crease just for a better transition between the gunmetal color and the assimilate color. Once that is on, I'm then going to take a little bit of Too Faced Glitter Glue, Glitter Glue, and put my hair back so that you can see what is going on. 
So it's um, just took some out of the back of my hand. It dries pretty quickly. Take some on a synthetic brush. Doesn't really matter. It's a flat brush. I'm sort of taking it up into the crease more just so it transitions and isn't such a harsh line. Give it a little bit of a blend, but honestly, like, whatever is on top of the glitter glue is not going anywhere. So you need to sort of take care of the blend mostly before you use the glitter glue. So I'm going to wipe off my base and <laughs> redo my concealer and then we can carry on. I'm going to put some eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm basically just using that same little brush to just smoke it down. Now I'm going to do some eyeliner on top and it's probably not going to be smoky eyeliner just because it's already very um, glittery and stuff up there so if I try to blend and smoke and do all that stuff it's just going to like blend all of that sparkly eyeshadow sort of away so I want to keep that there. Might press some black shadow over this liquid liner. Just press over the top with a, an angle brush and you really want to come at it from the top like this because if you're doing this, you're, you're really just getting underneath of that liner. So you wanna make sure that you're, the angle at which you're coming down is going to hit it where you need to hit it, which is above the liner. You want a gradient between the liner and the silver shadow, so you need to make sure you're hitting that. Just check your angle, come from the top. I'm just sort of stamping it down so that I'm not really disturbing that glittery shadow much. And I'm sort of just taking it and pulling it up into that dark brown in the crease. Okay, so here's this eye. Here's this eye. This one looks a lot more done than this one. <laughs> I'm going to finish this eye. Be right back. I also throw on some lashes. The lashes that I put on were the Eyelore Bronze Beauty ones, I think that's what they are called. Not really sure about that, but I will find out and put it in the description bar. Um, and then all that's left to do is like a little inner corner highlight, around the face highlight, and a lip. So I think, I think that I'm going to try to use Hearthstone White, which is the one that comes in the melt stack. Sort of like an ivory, like antique lace color. Keeping it, like the intensity pretty tight and then blending it like really lightly out. Wow, that's a nice crazy ass highlight, wow. And why not, just a little right there, just like a little bit. Sarah, I said a little. Sarah. Sarah. It is pretty glittery, so you might not want to take it anywhere other than your cheeks. You might not want to put it on your nose, but I did because of course I did. Of course I did that. Okay, so I think what I wanted to use was uh, Redwood from Makeup Monsters, so I think I'll, I'll do that. So that shape is pretty much fine. It doesn't have to be freaking perfect because I'm not getting paid for this makeup. This is my personal makeup, so I tend to let things slide a little, little bit more when I'm working on myself. Um, okay, so there's that. Um, I don't really feel like, maybe I'll do just like a little tiny bit of blush. This is Tarte's, that, um, party blush, the thing that you get for your birthday from Sephora. And just sort of like all high on the cheekbone. Very like, this is turning out to be very like 1920s-esque. But 
it's not some crazy club so I'm trying to just like chill out and not be too intense with my look it's like a bar so sometimes when you go there like dressed to the nines you're like oh wow I really did it this this night I just kind of went over the top it's a little like ooh, I'm inappropriately dressed but when am I not I guess is really the question when am I not so that is it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please like and subscribe and all that good jazz. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are well and I will see you all in my next video.